This is Longtime Gamer Venry Fairden introducing Uncle Troy's Minecraft videos. Hello there, folks. Uncle Troy here. Today we are playing a little Minecraft. About to go off adventuring. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I've got enough of everything here. A while back we uh, found uh, a village and did not take a lot of time to explore it. So I figured we'd do that today. Uh, this is our uh, multiplayer world, where apparently our fences are not keeping our animals in. Rather concerned about that. Uh, this is our multiplayer world. Uh, we are, uh, unfortunately, I'm the only one playing right now. It's uh, always a hassle to try to get people together. That's why for a long time I simply uh, went with... Come on, die already. There you go. It's a hassle to get everybody together to play, so that's why for a long time I simply uh, preferred to play with myself. Okay, somewhere over here at the end of the desert we have a, a village that, as I said, we just barely checked out the other day, and I don't think I was recording that day. I certainly can't find the uh, footage now. But what I do remember of it is it's somewhere over at the end of this desert. And I think it was generally in this direction. I think I see the village over there. Let's see. Anything in these furnaces? All right, looks like they finally fixed the lava over at the blacksmith's place uh, burning down the, uh, the village. And let's see, we have us a nice little, oh wait, just walk up to it and it depresses. Hmm. Wish I had some redstone to do something with that. All right, is it getting dark yet? No. All right. We have us plenty of uh, wheat here growing, a whole bunch of wheat here growing. And I like coming up here to the top, see the whole village. Looks like we have some sheepies. Come on down. And it doesn't look like the villagers do much of anything yet, which is surprising because I'm pretty sure that uh, one of the mods that I checked out, or at least saw somebody else check out. Let's see. That looks like a nice place, but... I think somebody just broke an ankle. Looks like a nice place, but I wanted to get in and out the door real quick so that the villagers didn't wander off. Uh, I checked out a mod or watched a video of a mod where uh, they actually had villagers, but it was not these villagers. Uh, I can't remember the name of the mod, but the villagers were like smart enough to go out and say gather crops or chop wood and uh, generally you know, act like real people, for lack of a better term. All right, now I have totally and completely lost track of which way I came from. Mm, looks like we have pumpkins here. We have plenty at the house, though. Okay. Well, the village did not take nearly as long to explore as I thought it would. So what to do now? Well, let's see if we can't find some caves or something out here. I know they said something about a ravine in the area. So, let's see. Which direction did we come from? I think we first saw this one here. Which means the ravine was, if I remember correctly, on the other side of the village from the... Uh, from the spawn, and I think we're going away from spawn right now. I checked my handy compass. Oh, I was about to say I checked my handy compass, but I don't have one. But there it is. <laughs> and once again, melons are not keeping me very, uh, very hungry, very hungry, satisfied, sati satiated, whatever you say. Is this a cave or something? 
Well, this is not a ravine, but it is a brand new cave we've never explored. And doesn't look like it goes very far or does anything. Uh, it may continue. First, let me grab a little coal here. Okay, I stopped to gather coal because I'd looked earlier and thought, you know, I just have 20 or 30 pieces of coal on me, and I might as well have a full stack. But then I looked later and realized that I had a full stack in addition to those 20 or 30 space, or pieces of coal. So I really should stop digging, but I also found this iron here. And I hope to find diamond. And I could make some silly statement right now, like, we're going to make it our quest to find more diamonds, and we will not return to our base until we find diamonds. But I don't make statements like that because it's too easy to get uh, caught up in trying to... Uh, dang it, I was hoping this would go down further. And that goes back up to the surface. So, it's too easy to get uh, hung up in statements like that, and... Lose sight of the point of the game, which is to have fun. Alright, maybe this set of caves will take us somewhere. Or at least find us more iron. Alright, that goes deep. This goes nowhere. Good, but more iron. And this goes back to the surface, apparently. One little empty spot there up into the surface. Whoop. Oops, a little low there. Let's aim a little higher. Two. And three. Ha ha. You may ask, what's the point of carrying two or more stacks of arrows? That's it right there. When you when you don't need to, you can just completely ignore creepers and take them out from a distance. Alrighty. You now for being so close to the surface, there is a lot of this cave, a lot to this cave. Alrighty, this comes out over here on the surface, looks like. There's some something lit up over there, it looks like. Over here, I heard, saw, or sensed an Enderman. I think he was up this way. Yes, he is. Now, I could uh, look at him and fight him, or I could just do that and send him on his way. All right, I'm trying to get all these little side tunnels and branches, etc. Wait a minute, I think I need, yes, one more piece of uh, coal to clear it out. All right, I'm trying to get all these little side tunnels and whatnot cleared out before I go deep into the dark depths of the cave. And dang it. All right, charge. Ta-da. Trying to clear all this out before I go to the deep dark recesses of the cave. Yes, this seems to be going down. But that uh, that skeleton there just proved that maybe I'm not lit up enough. Although on second thought, it, he only took two hits to take down. So it's possible he fell through one of those holes and was damaged in the fall. So he actually came from the surface. And this had better keep, nope, did not keep going. All right, so once again, we found us a small cave that did not go anywhere or do anything. And now it is dark outside, I believe.
Alrighty, never mind. Serpentine, serpentine, and attack. Try attack. There we go. Looks a little bright here, but no, that's one of the uh, areas we've already checked out. I like how they look like they're not looking at you. Let's say I hear a zombie as well. And there's another one. This is where we came up before, and that over there must be where we, uh... Where we saw a light. Maybe this is a cave or something. Alright, this is where someone gave up and apparently dug up to the surface. In fact, this looks familiar. I think it's possible this was me. I'm trying to remember how much of the ravine we uh, explored the other day before we gave up and went back to base. And it's possible we... I don't know. I cannot remember. I should just start recording everything that ever happens. Mm. Torches on the right. It certainly looks like me. Mm. Well... It looks like we've got some darkness here anyway. So, alright, obviously we've explored down there. Looks like we've explored over there. I'll go ahead and pick up some iron while we're at it. I don't think this was me that was over here because I tend to uh, light things up more and take more resources. Alrighty, hmm. Ah. Abandoned mine shaft. Now, I do tend to ignore abandoned mine shafts. Because there's always just too much nonsense. But it would not hurt to pick up some of these uh, tracks. Get some more of this. Uh, iron here. Alright, the other day I was trying to tell a story and I got distracted. But I was telling the story of how I got glasses. Which uh, may or may not interest anybody. As luck would have it, I had uh, always been a good student. Well, for reasonably small values of good. And as a good student who at least wanted the teachers to believe that he was trying, uh, I always sat near the front of the class, um, always listened very carefully to everything the teacher said, and uh, generally did all the other things that a good student does. And it turns out those are also things that a student with poor eyesight does. Because I did not find out until a college age when I, instead of going to little little classrooms like in grammar school and high school where you have, uh, you know, 20 or 30 students and they're all sitting, you know, pretty close to the board, I was going to huge lecture halls where even if you were right next to, as far up as you could get, as close to the uh, instructor as you could be, you were still, you know, 20, 30 feet away. And so it uh, reached the point where no matter how close I said, I couldn't read the board. And since information was coming so fast and furious compared to uh, institutes of lower learning, that was supposed to have been a uh, torch there, um, I couldn't, uh, you know, take as good a notes as I used to, no matter how uh, close attention I paid to the instructor. And that's when I realized that I really couldn't see the board. And so that led to me getting um, my first eye exam since, you know, grade school, I guess. 
Anyway, I discovered I had astigmatism and nearsightedness. And that, uh, ah, dang it, where'd you come from? Where are you? Ah, and now I broke my ankles. Oh, must have got him. Alright, so somewhere up there is a spider spawner. And why am I doing that? I need to do this. So I had astigmatism and nearsightedness and I needed glasses. I can't remember who it was. Some some comic strip character pointed on the fact that the only pe people that are qualified to sell you glasses dang it are the same people who are, are the only people that are qualified to test you to see if you need glasses dang it there are little spider fellers everywhere aren't they so he basically thought maybe this is a big scam something I just remembered water washes away <laughs> Cobwebs. Alright, oh. Dang it, where'd you come from? Over there you are. Alright, must place torches. And then must realize that I placed torches incorrectly because I want to wash away these. Uh. Cobwebs first. Ooh, looks like we got gold down there. Anyway, it turns out that the only people qualified to tell you whether or not you need glasses are the same people who make money by selling you glasses. Which could, seems to me to be a little bit of conflict of interest there. But what do I know?